Thank you, conference. Jana, thank you very much indeed, and thank you for acknowledging all the Scots in the room too, because I want to start with just four glorious words this afternoon. Rutherglen and Hamilton West. We'll, we'll get fed up celebrating sometime the day after the next election. An utterly seismic change, of course, in Scottish and British politics. Can I use three more words, please? Dame Jackie Bailey. She said if you clapped too much, she'd cry. So Dame Jackie Bailey. <laughs> Not just a dame, of course, but a genius and a very fun one to work with as well. Together, we've delivered our newest Scottish Labour MP, Michael Shanks. An unprecedented 20.4% swing from the SNP to Labour. What it means is there is no SNP MP who can rest easy. A coalition of voters voted for change in Rutherglen last Thursday. It's no wonder the SNP is in total disarray. This time last year, the SNP leadership was Nicola Sturgeon and Ian Blackford. Remember them. Now it's Yousef and Flynn. That's the biggest downgrade since Sturgeon moved out of Butte House and into a luxury camper van. But this conference isn't about them, but about what we can offer the country. And I want to focus on the Scotland office. Because after 13 years of incompetent Tory government, it's a shell of what it can be. It involves itself in Scottish public life only when it's after a political fight or the Secretary of State is defending Liz Truss. Conference, if you win the trust of the voters next year, Anas, Keir and I have a different plan. And I believe there should be three broad principles. The first is how we harness Scotland's role in the world. Brand Scotland is such an easy thing to sell, from Harris Tweed in the Western Isles through to cutting edge science in my own constituency, the potential of Scotland is awe-inspiring. In this job, I've seen yet more evidence of something every Scot understands when they travel abroad, the soft power of Brand Scotland. Yet while I've been blown away with our nation's potential, I've seen where that potential is stifled by both of Scotland's governments. If Labour win, David Lamy and I will have a relentless focus on promoting Scotland on the world stage. David understands the power of Brand Scotland and will be a fantastic Foreign Secretary for Scotland. Ambassadors and trade envoys will be extolling Scottish products using the full might of the UK's diplomatic network. What does that mean? That means jobs and investment in communities all over Scotland. In essence, our Scotland office will be Scotland's window to the world. And our Scotland office should be Scotland's voice at Westminster too. This is the change that Scotland needs. A UK Labour government relentlessly focused on delivering our transformative agenda. The setup of GB Energy, headquartered in Scotland, would be an early priority of a Labour government, with our plans supporting 50,000 highly skilled clean power jobs. That's 50,000 jobs helping give Scotland its future back. And Labour will build on the vision for constitutional change set out in Gordon Brown's commission on the future of the United Kingdom. We will rewire the UK so that we can deliver the highest sustained growth in the G7 for every part of our country. As Secretary of State, I will lead a Scotland office functioning as the delivery unit for Scotland. Now, I don't agree with the SNP on many things, very few, and they don't agree with me. In fact, now they don't often agree with themselves. But for the sake of the Scottish people, while the SNP cling to power at Holyrood, we should be putting political differences aside to deliver for the Scottish people. The Scotland office should be the Scottish People's Department in Whitehall. It should be listening to Scots, ensuring the Labour government can deliver the solutions for Scotland in Scotland. Because make no mistake, the difference Labour can make in government is enormous. That is the prize that is open to all of us. When voters go to the polls at the next general election, they will have a ballot paper with a clear choice on it. A Scottish Labour MP delivering a progressive agenda, an agenda where the UK Labour government grows our economy, promotes our nation around the world and delivers fairness at its heart, or an SNP MP languishing on the opposition benches while the Tories crash the economy and make working Scots pay for it. There is still a huge mountain to climb to deliver that change. 
When Keir took over as leader, he said the path to Downing Street runs through Scotland. When Anas took over, he said the Scottish Labour Party would recover. Many doubted them then, but nobody doubts them now. What happened in Rutherglen... <laughs> what happened in Rutherglen means nowhere is off limits for us. Conference, we have shown now that we can defeat the cynical politics of nationalism. And we've shown that I was never going to be lonely forever. <laughs> My political hero, John Smith, all of our political heroes, famously said, all we ask is the opportunity to serve. With Anas, Keir and the entire team together, we can serve to deliver the change that Scotland needs. And guess what? Give Scotland its future back. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed.